Frightening explosions and now one man is under arrest accused of being connected to at least some of the 100 ATM explosions throughout the area over the last several nights. Joe Holden joins us from Drexel Hill to explain the alleged connection here. Hi, Joe. Hi, Jessica, and this was quite the alleged entrepreneur in all of this. According to the attorney general's office, this man whose name was just released and charged was accused of selling dynamite sticks on social media. He allegedly told police in a sting they are better than bullets for robbing ATMs. Meanwhile, he is not directly connected to an explosion that happened here in Drexel Hill. But you can see the effects when someone put what was at least more than a quarter stick of dynamite right into the cash slot. Within the hour, state prosecutors announced charges against a man for dealing dynamite. It's alleged Talib Crump provided some of the explosive product that has been used to blow up ATMs across Philadelphia, a pattern that has since only intensified. At a time when millions in our country are calling for justice. These violent crimes of distraction are intolerable. From Stenton Avenue in East Mount Airy to Fairmount to Brewery Town to Drexel Hill, people have been detonating the machines in hopes of quick cash. Crystal clear video from Drexel Hill, a township line in Drexel Avenue, shows the sequence of events that rocked the area at 5 this morning. Upper Darby Police Superintendent Tim Bernhardt is being assisted by county detectives and the ATF in his investigation. We can tell the, uh, there was a vehicle involved, two individuals, there was a device that was attached to the ATM machine and lit, and then that device blew up the ATM machine. At this time, we do not believe the ATM was loaded with any type of money. Neighbors say the blast shook them from their sleep. I'm not happy about it, because what if, the, what if it sets the nail salon on fire and then it spreads? Because like I said, I'm only living right behind this building. It shook the house. It was louder than uh, what made me worry about it was it was louder than a car crash. It was louder than a, we've had transformers blow. We've had all that happen, and this was especially during the times on edge and everything else. It was feared for the worst. Well, the man state prosecutors arrested just today apparently told those operating the sting that he had enough explosives to blow up four more ATMs and that each time it would net him about $8,500. He's locked up right now. We are waiting further details on the information and the charges filed against him. Back at six with the latest. Live in Drexel Hill, this is Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.